the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign Update for Sunday, August 29th, 2021. So a couple of um, additions from the last episode. The housing crash will lead to the market crash. Uh, you're starting to see some reputable economists now starting to talk about this. So I do think that's uh, on the horizon. It's hard to say exactly how far, but uh, not very far away. As far as the current condition of the economy, I think that the arrears rent and utilities should be funded in a maximum of 12 more months of, of uh, unemployment insurance is the right move. We'll see what happens. In, at least in California, they have a program to uh, pay for back rent. And that's been in effect uh, for actually quite a few months now. So anyway, that's uh, that would be my move if I had something to say about it. Uh, we're still uh, not out of this mess. It takes a number of years. Just look at history. Uh, no pandemic is over this fast. So uh, regarding gambling, I'm going to keep saying this uh, over and over and over again. This is a situation where you have to pick a side. There is no straddling the fence. Uh, I will not let up that gambling is corruption. Uh, that's why we passed these laws 30 and six, 30 years ago with PASPA and 60 years ago with the Wire Act. Uh, greed is only the only thing that's going on here. Greed is their god. The people that are permit that are promoting this. If you support that, that's on you. I do not. ASM does not. Alper does not. Who will be my replacement? So you're on the wrong side of the fence if you think that these things are compatible. Uh, this faction is clearly going to continue to lie, cheat, and steal and pretend laws don't exist. They clearly do. That's corruption to the core. Do what you will, but don't sell it to me. I know it from the inside out. This is good versus evil, 100%. Vegas is Sin City, right? Vegas is called Sin City. They seem to say that proudly, so I rest my case. They're telling you right there what you've got. So gambling builds nothing. ASM will build lots of things. Just like alcohol and tobacco, we know better, but greed wins in spite of the facts and the law. So we must overcome this by having a superior product, which we do, and draw the public and take their customers away because obviously the laws don't seem to matter anymore. We live in a lawless land, without a doubt. The message boards make me want to puke. I see so much hype and lies everywhere I look in the in the financial boards. Whatever it takes to pump the stock price, you know, to sell the drugs, that's all they care about. Never mind you're destroying people's lives, trying to turn people into gambling addicts, corrupting sports and stealing from them. We're not wired like this. If this is your gig, if this is how you see the world, it's time for you to pack your bags and move on because we're not going to get along. Encouraging people to spend their stimulus, recovery, money, unemployment, or whatever on gambling. Are you absolutely out of your mind? Are you a reprobate drug dealer? Man, talk about lost, lost, lost. So crypto is the biggest Ponzi scheme in royal history, and it serves no useful purpose. Once again, greed and corruption, nothing else going on here. Blockchain is useful. We've said that for a long time. We have IP registered on blockchain. The rest is just financial trash with the possible exception of NFTs. Possible exception of NFTs. I'm still waiting to see a system that is actually usable by the public and doesn't charge exorbitant fees. It doesn't exist as of this moment. Um, if and when it does, maybe we'll give us another run, but it uh, doesn't look too good. Again, we need one viable fundraise, one viable fundraise for a league or a physical sports league or esports league to bring nearly 20 years of work to fruition and change the world. Just one. Um, we're going to focus more on that direction on the podcast, try to get some more specific um, actionable steps that people can take that are interested in uh, seeing that happen. Obviously, if you have a stake in this enterprise through uh, grants of stock or however you got it, got hold of some stake in it, I would say that you need to pay attention if you want your investment to pay off. Um, you know, it, it's going to take some effort. It's not going to happen by itself. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about gambling and crypto. These things are corruption, um, you know, and you've got to pick a side. Don't try to straddle the fence. You will be outed. It will come up just like Bernie and you will be pushed over. There is no straddle. You pick a side and you stay on it. Um, all new ideas arise from conflict. I uh, don't know where I saw that, but that's uh, absolutely true. Afghan pullout, 
frankly, what were we doing there in the first place? That's the proper question to be asking. What were we doing there in the first place? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a deep storyline there. Do some digging. Uh, TikTok rec- reprobate on ma- unmasking, good. People should stop lying and slandering with supposed impu- impunity in, on the Internet space. Uh, it's wrong. You can't do it in a newspaper. You shouldn't be able to do it online. Uh, don't bet against California. 70 point, $75.7 billion, uh, budget surplus last year during the pandemic. That's pretty incredible. Okay, so the 501c3 auto-revoked because of three years of tax uh, returns not being filed, and I'll get into that in a little more detail here. Um, the SEC, the C, uh, CPA involvements and not being able to get the audits and our inability to settle some outstanding bills along with coronavirus all contributed to this. Uh, we are working through it. There has been uh, dialogue every couple of days. This was an automatic um, revocation of the federal 501c3 that happens if they don't have three years of tax returns. It's not handled by a person. It's not like somebody was standing over our file just waiting to or digging through it trying to find something wrong. If you if they don't show three years of returns, then it just it's an automatic process in their system. There is a way to restore it. First step is obviously to bring the returns uh, into um, compliance. This is not the uh, end of the world. It is it happens. Um, the important thing is that we bring all the information up to date. So the timelines go like this. First of all, the last completed file. Well, back up a second. This does not mean there, there's two parts to the nonprofit. There's the core uh, state corporation, which is still a Texas corporation that we're going to be moving to California, uh, legally moving from Texas to California. That's the core entity. And then you, on top of that state entity, which is a Texas entity being moved to California, in, if that's in process, you file a federal exemption, and that's the 501c3. So those are two separate things. The core entity is the, uh, is the actual operating corporation, and that is intact, just to be clear. The 501c3 has got to be restored by filing the 990 returns, which is what we're working on. So the last completed returns for everything were 2017, which was done in late 2018. To be clear, that's completed. The 2018 returns were due on an extended timeline. We filed, I think, one or two extensions, and they were due late 2019, which, just to be clear, that's just under two years ago. That's not a long time ago. And the filing of the SEC case in August 2019 did affect our ability to get the documents that we were working on out. I've been very clear about that and about the fight we've had with, with the audit. And also we have some balances owing to the accountants. So there's auditors and accountants. So that did make it uh, make a problem. And then the coronavirus shutdown that happened shortly thereafter in early 2020 caused um, an inability to raise funds basically to pay outstanding bills and to, to, to finish these things. We've always been very diligent about filing these returns. If you look in our history all the way back to 2011, I think or 2011 was when the, uh, uh, yeah, t- I'm pretty sure it's 2011 is when the nonprofit um, corporation was formed, the Texas company was formed. So this is not in character for us. Um, and we do have, like I said, daily communication going on to uh, get it restored, and so that is going to happen. It's just a matter of, of time. So, And then we will get the um, uh, file for the process to restore the 501c3. So that's, that's where that stands. And uh, just to be clear, uh, we won't be doing any programs or, or anything like that to raise money until this is fixed. Uh, it just doesn't feel right, even though we did fundraising uh, before we got the 501c3, those that have been around know this is the case. Um, and we technically technically could do that now if we wanted to with the Texas entity. It's just that you wouldn't have the tax deduction. So if people wanted to uh, help us, they could. They just can't r- write it off their federal tax return until we get the 501c3. But I'm going to suspend it entirely until this is fixed, that, that we won't do any programs of any sort until this stuff is... Um, Fixed. So any other information that's contrary to what I've just said right now is a flat lie. It's a flat lie. I'm telling you right here, 100%. It's a flat lie. I've given you the the total absolute facts, unadulterated 
in the, as far as the condition of this goes. So what is to be known here is that we are working through the solution, uh, getting the documents filed now and the bills paid. Um, unless and until the Wire Act is, is enforced or repealed, and unless and until the 60-plus bogus lawsuits from the last, last election are sanctioned, which, by the way, is starting to happen. Um, I don't really care about the law too much anymore. I've uh, lost all faith in the system being fair, decent, and honest. It, it looks to me like um, it's just a big con job from front to back. Um, I'm, you know, It's really sad, actually. I'm a bit of a Boy Scout on this stuff and really believe that the whole thing was fair and decent and honest and straightforward. But my experience over the last um, 10 plus years um, in all aspects of it has pretty much broken that. Um, I don't believe it anymore. The uh, The fact that they're proceeding ahead with this gambling promotion as if the 60-year-old Wire Act is not, not only is it, it's not like dead letter where nobody knows it's there. It's been restated earlier this year. Okay, so it's in force right now. And the fact that nobody's paying attention to that, I, it, it, to me, it just makes the whole thing a joke. So, um, you know, we're going to have to actually clean this legal system up, or I'm telling you, this country's going to fall. Because once you lose the rule of law, you, you lose, that's it, that's the ball game. So ASM market cap is up uh, about 1,152% since the two-year anniversary of the bogus lawsuit filed by the SEC, which was on 8-19 just a few days ago. We're just uh, about two years from that date. The market cap's gone up 1,152%. On the same day of anniversary, two-year anniversary, which was 8 19 21, two years from the filing of the bogus lawsuit, it was at the highest ever uh, at the total uh, market cap between the two of $40 billion. So whoever's behind this uh, destructive uh, act didn't work, did it? Hmm? Didn't work, did it? So the NFT survey res, uh, shows that there is some interest in NFTs, but lots of payment problems, just like I suspected. Um, I'm not confident in the system because the fees are too high, and, and I also experienced the same issues with um, getting money in and out. So we're just going to let that be for now and, and leave it alone. Um, Alpers transition is going to go into 2022. I can see that clearly. We need time to... Uh, clean up the accounting, clean up the tax filings, and resolve the SEC matter before he takes over so he can take over a completely clean uh, operation. I'm, I'm totally behind that. So uh, that's where that's looking. It's not going to happen this through the end of this year. It's going to bleed into next year for sure. I can see that for sure. Okay, so the 501, back to the 501c3 for a second. The auto revocation has no bearing on our uh, operations. We are still working. We still can run the market. We're not taking any money in and we're not paying any money out. All we're doing is funding the expenses behind the scenes to keep everything running. Uh, that will be done by the same people that have always kept it running when things get tough. Um, you know, the crowd runs off and there's a few people left and those few people, including myself, keep the thing going. And that's going to continue to be the case until the um, 501c3 and the accounting stuff is put in order then we can look at bringing programs back. So it could be quite some time. In fact, I expect it won't be until next year before we'll even open anything up. In the meantime, we just keep everything operating and keep uh, advancing the other aspects of the mission uh, behind the scenes, looking for the eSports League or the Sports League, and then of uh, doing the cleanup work. Investing versus gambling. I've said this for a very long time. There is no mixing. This is oil and water. Pick a side. There is no mixture. Oil and water don't mix. Anybody who knows what I'm talking about, just try putting water in oil and see what happens. Once the public knows that they can invest in sports performance instead of betting on it, we're going to steal almost all of the gambling market. And it's going to happen in a very short period of time. No matter how much lying, stealing, law-breaking, and corruption they, go, go in, they do to promote this garbage, uh, when car, it, the example is when cars came, horses were history. It's the same deal. So I've said for a very long time, it all rests on a word, invest versus bet, invest versus gamble, and that's the truth of it. The public is only going to be attracted to gambling because they don't have another option. When they have another option, 
Nothing is going to stop, no matter how corrupt and evil these gambling operators and promoters get, nothing is going to stop them from us stealing the vast majority of their customers. Through media attention, through the Tesla model, how many ads do you see for a Tesla? Yeah, I rest my case. I've said that for a long time. We're not going to have to have a big advertising budget. We're not going to have to buy billboards in every sports stadium and cram this garbage down people's throats day and night. People know what gambling is. This is not something new. You think putting up more billboards is going to do the job? They, it's, it's, not, it's not a new novel thing. But when we get the press attention, which we have clearly demonstrated that we know how to do this, then that's, gonna, that's all it's going to take. I trust in the media operations to get the job done. We've done it before. We'll do it again. And all we have to do is get that one fundraise, and that's it. That's the ball game. And you can't serve both good and evil. And yes, I'm very clearly stating that gambling is evil. It's corrupt. It's always been corrupt. It cannot be not corrupt any more than you can make a cigarette that doesn't give somebody cancer. It just doesn't exist. So... Pick a side. You can't serve both good and evil. You have to only pick one side. You're going to be pushed one way or the other. Make your choice. If you're, if you're on the side of evil, then get the hell out of here. We, want, we don't want anything to do with you. Get lost. You're going to pay the price in this life and the next. I promise you that. So let's focus on our uh, discussions and efforts on how to get to that single target. You know, how do we get that one sports league? Um, it's obvious to me that there's no such thing as law anymore. It's all just whatever you can get away with. That's clear with gambling. It's clear with crypto. It's clear with the election uh, results from last year and the courts being clogged up with trash, although I am starting to see some pushback on that. But it's very discouraging. So just market force. Again, bet versus invest. Bet versus invest. What we need to do is get invest into the media the concept, which we've done. You've seen it. We've done it multiple times. We've done it. We did it in Hollywood. We did it in Costa Rica. So we know how to do it and we have the footprint to do it. So we just need the example, the legitimate example, and then run it through the press machine. And I'm telling you, that's the ball game. Uh, back in 2013, give or take, uh, I, when I would go to the gym in Houston, I kept noticing DraftKings ads, even though I didn't know what DraftKings was. And I would see in my head flashes of the new ASM logo, the current one. I didn't design that, by the way. We paid a, con a contractor to do that. I saw that flashing in my head when I was uh, watching the DraftKings ads, which is really bizarre. I can remember like it was yesterday. I had no idea what it meant at the time. No idea. Um, but I do now. Uh, you know, that's the target to take down. Frankly, I hope that they drown in all of their troubles. I hope that they, uh, they drown in their troubles. I hope it's all over for them, although they're going to fight like hell. I have no doubt it's not going to be easy. But uh, hopefully the greedy lawyers on one side will consume the greedy lawyers on the other side, and that will be the end of them because it's all about incentives. They're not going to beat us on the product. They're selling poison. They're selling trash. They're selling outdated trash. Um, they create harms and we create more good for everything and we create more good for everyone everywhere. And that's the truth. That's what will come of this eventually as it spreads. So the NHL Kraken is the first, um, that's kind of an appropriate name for the time we're in. The Kraken is the first IPO in many years. Uh, it's going to be on Saturday, September 25th, the first day of NHL preseason for this year. The details of that are going to be um, posted right now on the notice board. And then once again, please see the show notes for more resources. Uh, this is always updated, and uh, you know all you do is just scroll down in your reader into the show notes, and you'll see links for other resources. And if you would like to support this work, it would be much appreciated. Um, there's a way to do that also mentioned in the show notes. So thank you very much for your time, and I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.